So let's get right to the highlights. Milwaukee, Brooklyn, the game of the night. We hoped it would lead to the billing, and boy, did it. Giannis, he was top 75, but is he top 30? <laughs> the discussion's yes. been raging oh. on this desk all night. The answer is yes. The answer he is. is yes. All right. Uh, Brooklyn had a four-point lead at halftime. Kyrie Irving knocking down the triple. Later in the third, Kevin Durant. Got to take that bucket. Oof. Sometimes it looks too easy with him. 84-81. Yeah, you got to take that bucket. Drew Holiday drives alley-oop to Giannis for the lead. And then Middleton dishing it off to Giannis for the slam. Milwaukee up two. But this was a game where a lot of questions. Bruce Ooh. Brown slows down to go in. Chris Middleton hacks him from behind. Called a flagrant two and ejected. Wasn't trying to hurt him, though. He was not trying to hurt him. Trying to take a foul and just momentum took him that way. Right after this happened, there were two free throws. Kyrie hit a basket, and it looked like Brooklyn was going to run away with it. Milwaukee showed a lot of resolve, though. They, they, they took the punch. Middleton's one of their better players, obviously. And they still found a way to bounce back, even after this run from Brooklyn. 16 to 3 run, JC. 108 99. But the Milwaukee answer with an 11 to 2 run of their own. Now, this is tough. Ooh, mm -hmm. wee. Damn. He been working. It's and he had walked off like this what I do. He more different. Yeah, he that does. tied the game, and it helped him pass Kareem for the most points in Bucks franchise history. Impressive. Trying to win it. KD can't get it to go. Something about hitting big shots against the Bucks at the end of the game. That's so tough. Oh. Wow. Kevin Durant with the deep three. Then you know, Bobby Portis finds a spot in the middle of the zone. Giannis did an excellent job of, of, of taking his time and looking for the others. They doubled too soon. Team. Down two with 10 seconds left. Kevin Durant fouled by Wesley That boy shot it, ain't he? <laughs> Woo. He made all the free wow. throws, including this one, to make it 119, 118. Last chance in overtime for Giannis. So the play before this, he had Shaq, he shot the pull up. And you was like, and next play he went to the hall, mm. took it to him. Because nobody learns and adapts better than Giannis. I love that he stepped up confidently with the free throws. That's a, that's the, the evolution of his game and where he's going. That's that's new. He shot 35% from the line last year in Brooklyn, 15 to 19 tonight. This is how it ended in the playoffs last year. Kevin Durant's foot on the line Ooh. turned it from a game winner to a game that went to overtime that the Bucks eventually won. And here was the play at the end. Great play call by Steve Nash. Iron oh. is unkind. Iron unkind. Iron on kind for Kevin Durant. 120, 119. Milwaukee gets the win. They're now 39 and 1 when leading after three. That record was in jeopardy. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 40, 14 and 6. His seventh game of more than 40, 10 and 5. And the Nets suffer their first overtime loss of the season. Now 2 and 1. And it was a celebration for the team and Giannis in the locker room. For our man Giannis Antetokounmpo, who just tonight passed Kareem Abdul Jabbar as the all time leading yeah. scorer. went into overtime you made the clutch free throws at the end just walk us through what happened as the game ended I was just trying to be aggressive make good decisions um, you know, at the end we I know we had eight seconds left and I know that I'm gonna to try to get in the paint and after that I'm gonna to try to figure something out or finish or find my teammate but you know uh, fortunately I went to the free throw line and I was able to make two Congratulations, you are now the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. You passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with your performance this evening. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a compliment, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, all-time leading scorer in the NBA uh, for the Bucks. Also, just being able to be up there with him, it's, it's, a, it's a compliment and uh, it's a lot of hard work that I've paid off, but uh, I got to keep, you know, staying humble. You know, if I stay humble, stay hungry and keep enjoying the game, good things going to happen for me and for my teammates.
I mean, I, I thought the the Middleton play was was risky. You know, guys left his feet. You're coming from behind. If you uh, grab the arm, you know that that's a very dangerous play. I'm fortunate. I don't think Chris is a a dirty player at all. But a, a, that is a dangerous play. That I mean, was that a basketball play? Did you feel it was just? I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's hard for. I wasn't trying to. I mean, it was an open dunk. Um, I mean, I wouldn't do it, but I mean, I don't, I, I don't care. It's fine. After you got the flagrant two, it's kind of like, do you let him have the dunk? Two and a half, three weeks from now, like I'm not, I'm not letting him have that dunk. I know that it looked bad, and and we don't want anybody to be hurt, but <clears throat> I don't want him to have it. I don't, I don't want him to have that dunk. I want him to earn it at the free throw line. Um, I think it also looked bad because he was in the air, and sometimes when you're in the air, uh, crazy things happen. But it wasn't malicious, and we know Chris. But uh, that that would be my question for the refs or who, whoever, uh, like, what would you want us to do? This was a game that undoubtedly has playoff implications. I know you guys were talking before the game. It's you want to make a statement in a game like this. JC, what was the statement made tonight with Milwaukee winning in overtime? They're resilient. Uh, they lost their second best player in Middleton. They responded. Uh, it could have been an easy game to lay down and say, you know what? We lost our guy. We're down seven. They're on a 16-3 run. What's, you know, we'll get to the next game. They said, no, nah, we're going to show you we're here to stay. And that's why you want to see two of the better teams go at it. Even though Brooklyn's record doesn't say they're one of the better teams, they are. And in the East, and I don't think they're anybody, you know, that they want to be seen in the first round. You know, when you're a champion, you have the consistent mindset of saying, we're not panicking. We know who we are. We know who you two guys are. Oh, we, lost, we just lost one of our guys. We're still not panicking. That's what that championship mentality does. And listen, they're going to keep coming. I love the way Giannis is playing. You got a small guy on me, I'm going to the hole. He's shooting that jumper with confidence. Like, you know, we used to say, oh, don't shoot that. You can't say that anymore about Giannis. Right. And he has that. When they showed him getting the game ball, looking at his face. And what'd you see? I saw something that, that, that you earthling should be worried about. <laughs> saw this is the second time this week that you no, have been just, impressed by his demeanor. Yeah, Tuesday, just, you said he was mean. Tonight, you were saying the earthlings should be worried. Like, it's a great accomplishment. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the greatest big man ever. Like, I'll, I'd be happy about that. Me and D-Wade would be a prime 112 right after the anthem. But he was just sitting there. I can remember one time when we won the, uh, the Eastern Conference Finals. D-Wade saw me in the corner. He said, why are you not celebrating? I was like, I don't celebrate that. Mm -hmm. And then his whole thing, D-Wade's whole thing just... His brows yeah, dropped. I mean, because I mean, everybody was ah, I'm going to cry. And I'm just sitting back, and I'm just like... It's like, like what? See, well, he happy, but he's not, he's not over happy. Did you hear what they one, two, three? Defense. What? Yeah. Not Giannis I'm, or I'm congrats. Defense. With that. I love this kid. He wants to compete. You know, a lot of people concede about who the best is. It takes a certain animal, a D Wade, a Kobe, a LeBron, to say, "Hey, I know you're the best, but I'm coming." Hmm. One day you're gonna say this league belongs to me, and that's where he is now. Like I know there's a couple names above him, but one day we will say Giannis is the best player in the league. Period. Hmm. I mean, it might be today. Well, what we watched is we watched a team that has championship habits. We watch a coaching staff that has built championship habits, and so when you have those habits, you don't get flustered. You don't think like when they went down nine, it's it's no they've been in the big situ in the big moments. They've won a championship. They've had to go on the road and win. So when Middleton went out, I think everybody kinda like, oh, okay, Brooklyn has this. They survived. But you got a team who's they just they fresh off a championship. They understand their game. And that's the thing with Brooklyn right now is because they don't have habits and, and they don't have the chemistry because of the in and out all year with injuries and with their team and other teams as well. We're watching the Jazz who has the same thing with injuries. You don't have those habits. And so what we watched tonight with the Bucks is a team that knows their game and they have built these championship habits. Moments of brilliance versus consistent success. And what's interesting is two days ago, to end the game, Giannis blocked an MVP front runner in Joel Embiid to seal it. Today, he took the Nets and bent their will and scored 44 to win it all. Giannis Antetokounmpo, yes, Shaq? One more thing I love about the Milwaukee Bucks is, is the utilization of the others. Fourth quarter, two, three minutes, uh, Brooklyn, one or two guys gonna get the ball. Giannis, you get it. Knew they was doubling him to take my time. Here you go, Bobby Portis. Like, here you go, Bobby. Like they, they, he, they. So they really trust each other. Brooklyn's yes. like, here, KD, here, Kyrie. And my question to the panel is, what if that does not work? 
What if it doesn't work? See, Milwaukee, you double Giannis, he's going to get to somebody else. Somebody else is going to make a play.